Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to this episode of Skip Dashing. Alright guys, well it's been about four, I think four weeks since I've done a, a skip shift, Instacart, DoorDash, anything. Um, a lot of you guys reached out to me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing so. Uh, basically, for me in the summertime, I just get busy with family stuff, flying airplanes. Um, if you haven't seen my other YouTube channel, I'll throw a link up above. Uh, it's it's based around model turbine jets and stuff. That's that's my hobby. That's also I do that for another source of income as well too. So, anyways. Felt like it was time to do a shift, so we did a, sh a skip shift tonight, or we're doing a skip shift tonight, and uh, I've been logged in now for 10 minutes, and I got my first order. It is Monday, uh, July 13th, and uh, my first order is at Cowtown Beef Shack in Mackenzie Town, so not too far away, and uh, basically when we pick this order up, it's going to Auburn Bay. Uh, the order is worth $10.43, 6.4 kilometers, just realized I forgot my bags. Um, need to grab those, but anyways, let's go. All right, guys, here at Cowtown Beef Shack. It's just beside me here. They're usually um, a little bit late on these orders, so we'll see what happens. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go in. Uh, I'm parked beside the restaurant, so I don't know if I'll be able to uh, capture you, but we'll see. All right, guys. So no idea if that got captured, but uh, the order was ready, which is awesome. Um, always appreciate that. Man, it smells so good when you go in there. Okay, so we're ready to drive. This customer is probably not too far away. Six minutes, 3.7 kilometers in Auburn Bay. Let's go. All right, guys, I feel like a rookie. It's been so long. Okay, where are we here? Ordered the Cowtown the Beef Shack. On the left. Right there. Good choice. Good choice. All right. Oh, a little update on the white car for you, too. I got that. Uh, anyways, I'll talk about it after. Okay, we're parked. Let's go get him his food. Oh. I actually kind of forgot about the contactless delivery thing, so I rang the doorbell and waited. Oh, we got another order and it disappeared. Okay. Um, it's going to be a little difficult to show you guys this stuff just because I've got you mounted on my... I'm in the black truck, right? So it's not the normal white car. All right, so order was, come on, focus. Order was $10.43, uh, $4 for transit, $6.43 for tip. Good order, and it was 6.6 uh, .6 kilometers. All right, guys, so um, I was gonna say a little update on the white car. My normal, uh, my normal skip the dishes driver. Um, it was making a funny noise since last year. It was the air conditioning. I knew what the problem was, but we finally got it fixed. You don't get to experience it though because I'm not in the little white car. So anyways, um, that's it. So waiting for my next order. All right guys, just got the next order. I've been parked at the uh, plaza here in Mahogany for about five minutes. Uh, next order is at Papa John's Pizza. Um, in McIver Boulevard, which is a little bit north of where I am, and uh, it's going to New Brighton. So it's a nice short little order. It's actually going to take me longer to get there than it is to get from Papa John's to the house. So this is a bumped up order. So it's uh, six fifty regular, and it's being bumped up to uh, fifty cents to seven dollars. So you accept it before it expires. All right. So we are. Nine minutes, 4.8 kilometers away. Let's go. All 
All right, guys, order was ready to go. Two for two today, that's great. Two for two, so we're doing good. Um, okay, order's ready to go. And so this customer is in New Brighton, uh, five minutes, 1.7 kilometers away. Let's go. Alright guys, order's delivered and I think the guy that was <laughs> going into uh, Papa John's was right with me. That's funny. Anyways, that order's delivered. So that guy walked in, you, I'll, I'll make sure I include it on the video, that guy walked in just after I did at Papa John's and he followed me all the way here. That's funny. All right, so that order was, I already told you guys, but 350 for transit, 50 cents for top up, and $3 for tip. Good little order, wasn't very far distance, so that is all good. Anyways, guys, it's 521 right now, waiting for my next order. All right, guys, if you look in the distance there, you can see the letter E on the wall. Um, I got an order from Kinjo, and I was on the phone, so I just drove here. Um, this one is at Kinjo, and when I pick it up, it's going to Mahogany. So great little order. Uh, $11.42. Uh, $11 Total distance is 6.1 kilometers, so it's taken me probably three to get here, and uh, it'll be three to the customer's house. So anyways, I'm not really sure what those letters mean, but uh, it says... Um, Please wait in the designated pickup area at the restaurant. So I think I just have to go in and uh, pick this up. It doesn't say anything otherwise. So anyways, let's go in and grab it. All right, guys, we are having some really good luck today. Three for three, as far as orders being ready, it's phenomenal. It's kind of a neat setup there. They've got a whole bunch of racks as soon as you walk in. So they've got all the takeout orders on the racks uh, because they're not super busy inside. Um, I don't even know if their re their restaurant's open. I'm assuming it is, but um, the orders seem like they're ready because of that reason. So um, anyways, we are ready to drive. And this customer is eight minutes, 3.6 kilometers away. Let's go. All right, guys, that order's done. Okay, so that order was $11.42. We're $4 for transit and $7.42 for tip. Good little order. All right, guys, so it is 550 uh, right now. Um, been on shift for an hour and uh, 45 minutes. And we are waiting for orders. Um, just as an FYI, I'm just logged into Skip. I'm not logged into DoorDash right now, so. All right, guys, uh, sitting here in Mahogany for six minutes now. Got matched my next order. This is at Tim Hortons in Auburn Bay. Um, it's another minimum order, so it's uh, $6.88. It's been bumped up 12 cents to $7. <laughs> so we're going to accept this. Uh, total distance is, what does it say here, 7.6 kilometers, so... So, so order, when I pick it up, it's going to Copperfield. Um, I'm really close to the Tim Hortons, have a bit of a jaunt to Copperfield, but let's go. All right, guys, I'm here at Tim Hortons in Auburn Bay. That's where the next order is. Um, I completely forgot to push the record button, so I missed everything. Anyways, I have the order, it's picked up. I'm going to Copperfield now, and uh, it's 11 minutes, 5.6 kilometers away. Order was ready to go. Let's go. Alrighty, order is delivered. Okay guys, that was 4.85 for transit, 12 cents for top up, and $2.03 for tip. All right. 
so it's 615, 619 right now. Uh, I'm gonna start making my way home and uh, we'll see what happens. If I don't get an order by the time I get home, we'll do our wrap up. And uh, if I do get an order, you guys will hear about it. So that's it, waiting on orders or waiting to get home. All right, guys, we are home. It is 6.31. I obviously didn't get another order, so that's it. Gonna end my shift. I just did that, and uh, that's it. We're done. Not gonna wait around for any more orders. So this is, let's, let's talk about a couple things. Uh, first thing, there's a kind of a primary reason why I don't do tons of shifts during the summer, and that is because during the week it's not busy. Um, especially after just coming out of this whole C, I think we're allowed to say it now, COVID thing, um, where it was really busy all the time. And uh, so really during the summertime, it's kind of in, in our area anyways, it's like Friday, Saturday, that's busy. And a lot of times Friday and Saturday, I'm just tied up, I'm at events, flying, doing different things. So that's kind of why I don't do a ton of shifts during the, uh, during the summer. So anyways, guys, we're home now. Let's review how we did tonight. All right guys, so 3585 is our total. We did four orders. Um, we've covered them all, but uh, Cowtown Beef Shack and the Kinjo Sushi orders were great. And then we had those two minimum orders from Tim Hortons and Papa John's that were bumped up. So 3585 for about two hours worth of work. Uh, we drove 33.4 kilometers. Basically about a dollar per, uh, per kilometer, so uh, not too shabby. We'll accept it. But uh, that's it, guys. So thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Again, thank you to everybody who reached out to me and was concerned. We're doing good. Uh, the sea thing hasn't affected us at all, and uh, knock on wood. Um, but uh, things are going well for us, just uh, just busy. So thanks guys for tuning in. A couple things, if this is your first time finding my channel, where have you been? But uh, you should hit that subscribe button down below and uh, that way you won't miss any episodes that I release. When you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell or the notification thing so you do get notifications when I release a new video. And uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That's a great way to support the channel. And last thing guys, we do have a Facebook group called The Lighter Side. There is a link down below and I'll throw a screenshot here of what it looks like. So that's it guys. Hopefully you're staying safe. Hopefully things are going well for you. Uh, have a great day, great evening, wherever, whenever you're watching this and we'll see you next time. Thank you.